So I want to express something we call a valve function. So this is the way the valve works. Let's assume I want to build this um, seven. Let's say I have a lot seven plus four. What would this give me? No, this will not give me seven. Oh, seven plus four, that's twelve. No, that will not give me eleven. Um, eleven. It will also display seven plus four. Not that. Seven plus four, not. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Everything is in a string. So yeah, this will yeah, give me seven plus four. This is different from saying seven plus four. This will give me seven four, seventy four. I hope you are getting the difference. Mm. So this will give me 74. Then this will give me 11. I hope you understand the difference between this point. There's no string on this one. Yes, there's no string on this point. In this case, this will give me, this will concatenate because this plus is not within the codes. It's going to take this plus now as a concatenator and to concatenate these two together this gives me seven four but when this plus itself is within the quotes like this you know whatever is within quotes is going to be read as ordinary string so this is going to alert seven plus four do we get the difference so we cannot tell javascript that see don't alert seven four here uh don't allow seven plus four here i want you to evaluate whatever is inside this place so that's where the eval function comes in this will evaluate this thing it will treat it as though what you have there they are uh they are numbers do you understand yeah. so it's going to evaluate it for you and uh, that will still give you that will give you a level now Sorry, refresh 11. So we have 11 there. Mm. So that's the work of the EVA function. Any question before we leave? Mm. So I'm going to send two videos to us today. I think I mistakenly uh, recorded the solution, like it was for a split second. So that was how I stopped recording there. Uh,